Hey guys, this is Hafiz and uh, today I'm driving a 2016 Cascadia and I see this blinking light right on top of the DEF. I think it's a region light. I can drive at 65 miles per hour right now. I had a check engine light on and I had that blinking light on. And uh, I think that's because it's asking for the region, maybe a park region. And most of the time, uh, when when we idle for a long time, then uh, we need to do the region. Let me see how can we uh, get rid of this light. I'm gonna park, and then I'm gonna try to uh, do the park region. I'll try to find the empty space where I don't bother anybody else. not working So I'm trying to regen this, but it's not working. Uh, so I just went through the code list and I see this code 3556 FMI 18. Service engine emission system, 10% D-rated. is poor DEF quality check and emission system problem detected service engine so these are the three codes it's throwing to me but I didn't lose any power when I made a stop so I think uh, the DPF and DEF filters are bad and uh, need to get them replaced as soon as possible I tried to drive the truck and uh, I'm on uh, 55 now. I cannot drive more than that. That's the highest I can go, 55 miles per, per hour right now. I tried to regen, it didn't work, so now it's slowing down the speed. And I'm at uh, 55 and I'm losing power on this. Alright, if you have the check engine light, you, you cannot perform the region. So this is what you have to do. Turn off the switch for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, you turn that on. The next step is you turn the key on. Half. Turn off, on, you have to do this four times so you can clear the code, check in, check in the light code. So it's done now, third time. time and 
and the fifth time you turn it on and wait and then you have to start the truck and uh, it should clear the code so when the code is clear now you can uh, follow the next step which is a uh, park region so you push the brake in Put it in reverse, neutral, and then you press the region button. All right, so what I did is I turn off the truck for 15 minutes and turn back that back on and uh, the next step I did uh, uh, start the truck let the air build up and then uh, the other thing was like I release I push the truck brakes in and then I put the gear I put the truck in gear and then put in neutral and then I press the overdrive I mean the region button and then uh, the region just uh, started. So I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take. Uh, when I stopped the first time, after that I drove like 25 miles and uh, uh, I was going over like 65, 67 miles per hour. Then it started uh, dropping the speed and I came down to 55. So I had to pull it over. And uh, I turned off the truck for 15 minutes I killed the battery switch for 15 minutes and then I uh, uh, tried to clear the code but it, it didn't work. So I tried this method of uh, regen uh, that I just told you, push the truck brake, put in a gear and then put a neutral and uh, I'm sorry, yes, push the parking brake, pull that out put in the gear, put in neutral, and then press the region button. So it just started uh, the region. So hopefully it uh, will resolve the problem. All right, I just uh, completed the region process. And uh, as you can see, I don't have the check engine light. One of them is gone and you can see you can see the uh, region light on and the check engine and because it's hot that's why so it took me like uh, 38 minutes 38 minutes and I completed the process and I had to do the park region uh, I don't see any more uh, checking the lights and the codes. I'll try to get you. Let me see if I have any codes. This is still service engine emission 10% D rate code. And uh, Still the same code. All right, so I just start driving and uh, I'm going to test.
right, so I just made it to my delivery. And uh, one more thing I want to share with you guys, uh, that if uh, you're not able to do the uh, region and you have to make it to the shop, uh, one of my friends suggests me to open the clamp right after the turbo, if you can see on the passenger side, it's a turbo. So he said uh, it's before the sensors. I think this, these are the sensors for the uh, filters, right? So he said before that, I see, I don't know if it, these are the sensor. If not, then I will uh, open this clamp and make it loose a little bit and this uh, disconnect it so it can breathe from here and I can make it to the shop so it's not throwing smoke over there. Or if these are the sensors, then uh, I have no knowledge about that. So if these are the sensor, then uh, I have to open the, uh, if you can see, there's a clamp right here. So I have to open this clamp, make it a little bit loose and let it breathe from here. And uh, he told me that you can make it to the shop and you don't have to tow the truck. So I hope that uh, helps somebody. Please let me know if I'm wrong on, uh, in any uh, information I throw in here. And please correct me. Thank you.